Graphing a linear inequality on the number line. We're asked to graph the inequality below on the number line and it's already in the format that we like where it has the variable on the left hand side and then it has the sign less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to and then on the other side it has the number. So if it's in that format then our less than sign would be an open circle and we would draw the arrow to the left. If we had greater than it would also be an open circle but we would then draw the arrow to the right. Less than or equal to would be a solid circle. Arrow going to the left and greater than or equal to would be a solid circle and the arrow going to the right. So the nice thing about this is that the direction of the arrow matches the way that the line is going. So we can definitely use this to our advantage whenever we're trying to graph it. There is one requirement though, the variable has to be on the left hand side. But that's no problem if for some chance they happen to give you the variable on the right hand side. Let's say 5 is less than x. We can always switch it around and put the variable on the left as long as we also put the, the number on the right. We can do this, it just requires us to switch the direction of the sign. So if the variable is not on the left, we can always move it to the left. In this example though, the variable is on the left, so we would locate our number line. Zero would be probably in the middle, and negative three over here on the left hand side, negative one, negative two, negative three. Since the variable is on the left, we can tell from our sign that it's going to be an open circle, which means we do not include negative three, and the arrow will point the way. That arrow is pointing to the right, so we would draw our line to the right. So what we're doing is we're indicating that everything to the right of negative three is a solution.